Good morning, guys. It's Kim the Crafty Nomad. This is, uh, today is Monday. It is the beginning or the early part of a new crafty week. And yesterday I, um, did record and you guys will be seeing that today. Um, but, um, <clears throat> and in that I showed, uh, I had a few whips and one of them was this, um, pattern for a steamed dumpling and I still forgot to look up the girl's name who is the designer but if you watched um last week's episode you already saw her name because um <clears throat> I put it in the description box um below the video so anyway um and I also indicated the name of the movie so I'll remind you uh, the movie is from Pixar and it was a little short and it was about this lady who made the, her, it basically was a steam bun. Uh, you can watch it on YouTube. I will link it. I linked it in the last one too, but I'll link it again. And it's called a bow. It's a longer name, but it's B-A-O and it is a steamed bun. I don't know if you guys have ever tried dim sum, but I enjoy dim sum. It's super fun. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I watched a movie. I don't know if it was Flower Drum Song, which was a musical that was, the entire cast was Asian. Um, and except for like one, one person in the whole cast. So there was one white guy, but the rest of the cast was Asian. Really fun. I bet, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know with, in today's climate, if I watch it now, if it would be a challenge. Because sometimes, you know, you watch old movies, older movies now, and you're like, mm, the things we said and did. And I probably would feel that way about Flower Drum Song if I uh, watch it. But anyway, there was a scene in there, I believe, of them going to dim sum. And I had that in my mind. I know I had seen it before in a movie. And then when I moved out to L.A., I went to dim sum the first time. So basically, it's a big dining room. And people, ladies, roll, ladies and gentlemen roll around with carts. And it's just these little bites. And you just, you know, they put a little tab on your table. And every time they drop off a little tray or a little container of something... Then they put a dot on it, and at the end, you pay. It's super fun and super delicious. Love it. So if you have never been to dim sum, and you live in a place where they have that, um, give it a try. Anyway, one of them is a steamed bun. And I, this is not one of my favorite things to eat, but it's such a cute pattern. I just had to make it. So this is my bow. <laughs> now, this is the first time I ever tried to use blush and put... Um, some pinkishness on the cheeks that I actually don't like how that came out. I don't like it. Uh, I, I, that's probably why I never, uh, did it before. Like, in the camera it looks fine, but, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I use that Hershner's, um, uh, uh, holiday velvet and, in white. And the thing about it. This is not a great yarn to use on its own. It's hard to get the stitches tight. It's not a great yarn, to, I should say, for Amigo Rumi. Um, but I am just was insisting that I'm going to use this yarn. It's a four-weight. I used a, a G-hook. I have, maybe if I had gone down to an F, maybe I would have fewer holes. But I'm not worried about it because the stuffing is white and it's fine. But anyway, that is my bow. Now the pattern came with the 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 thing the steamer that they're cooked in and you can make that too, but I'm not gonna make that. Just this. It was nice. It was fun. So all done there. Um I have a lot of this yarn, so I think with this one, what I will do the next time I use it is um wait a minute, I'm gonna hold it together with something else. But anyway, she has the cutest little patterns, and she has um uh another one for her the dumplings and for shumai, all these things that I really enjoy eating. But I'll probably make those an acrylic yarn if I make if I make them. I haven't even bought those patterns, but anyway, that's my bow. And again, this is the reason why it's hard for this yarn. Also, is that it's hard to shape it or for it to keep its shape. I keep having to like. 
squeeze it a little and make it look right. But anyway, it's easy. It's cute. I started and finished it yesterday. And that is that. Monday night, uh, we went out and enjoyed some food at this place called Mitsua Market. They have a uh, wonderful little food court and that's the view of the store but it's just one of those things that even though it's expensive here it's diverse and there's so much to experience um so i did start reading the power of regret for the 100 day project but again i changed the book to this book which is the happy christian and uh, it's going to be a better choice for me and hopefully people will like it all right, guys, so today is a day that I had scheduled off to take my son uh, to the doctor. And um, we uh, ended up rescheduling the appointment because he really didn't want to miss his soccer practice. And when we scheduled the appointment, he was not on the um, the soccer team yet. So... Um, I went ahead and kept the day off. And so what I'm going to do today is see how much I can get done. I, I usually can't do those, like how much I can crochet in a day. Uh, but, uh, my mojo has come back and I just want to take advantage of it. So I'm very excited, uh, to just crochet for most of the day. So this is the first finished object for the day. And I uh, held together two strands. I'll show you, you the yarn later, but it the greenish color is uh, Bernat Velvet. And I don't remember the weight of it. Um, it's probably a four, though. And then um, there, the other one is the, um, the white is the Holiday Velvet from Hershner's. Now, I showed you the project that I made with that. And... Um, the bow, uh, the little uh, steamed bun, and I made it with one strand using, I think, a four hook, a G hook, and, you know, it didn't really hold its shape well, so this way, holding two together is going to be my solution for that yarn, um, and I use some of those rainbow, I don't know if you can see the rainbow safety eyes for this, uh, but anyway, I still have a bunch of the velvet left. Uh, from Bernat, and I also still have a couple of uh, skeins of that white uh, holiday velvet. So I am moving on to another project, and I'm going to see how many of these I can get out of the yarn. Let me show you, not this, but it's a little uh, baby dino free pattern that I want to try. Okay, let me show you how much yarn I have, or what yarn I have. All right, so this is my yarn. The lighting is terrible, but this, you know, this is the yarn I have. And I'm going to see how much of these mini dinos I can get out of this yarn. And really, I'm just trying to see how much I can do if I'm pretending that I'm like a full-time business owner, a uh, full-time crochet. So we got started at about 9, right on the dot. It's currently 9. I stopped at 9.55. I'm going to take a coffee break. But it's, you know, pretty much it's time to put in safety eyes. And it's time to start decreasing. And so, so far you make the the head and body and the arms in one go. And then you're going to have to make the feet and also the scales down the back. So I'm on and you're done. So, so far I'm 55 minutes into this project. But it's time for a coffee break. Okay, bye. Okay, I started back working on this guy at about 10.05. And this part is done. So we are on to the legs, the tail, and the scales. Okay, there you go. So total, we're at an hour and a half or so on this. Okay, bye. All right, guys, I finished. It is currently 11.42. And um, we are done. We still have so much of this yarn left. Um, so this is the mini chubby dino pattern from studio phoebe 22 on insta i will definitely link it down below uh and so it took me almost three hours to do this i am sort of a naturally slower crocheter however i did there was a little bit of a glitch in the 
in the uh, pattern. Um, and thank God somebody in the comments explained it. Um, but these, the way that this bobble stitch is written for the arms is not correct. So if you choose to do this pattern, look in the comment section uh, before you start so you can know what that mistake was and how what it was supposed to be and then you can get it together. So I had to rip this round back and then, you know, I'm just slow. So anyway, I'm happy with the way it came out. It's cute. Um, so for this, like, I feel like, like that Octo that I showed earlier, it's bigger than this. It took up more yarn than this. However, um, this took longer than the Octo just because you have to make all, you, you have to make the legs, the tail, and the spikes, and then sew them on. So it's just going to, this is something that should not go for like $10. I think you have to at least get 20 bucks for this. So, I don't know how many more of these. I was thinking of making as many of these as possible out of this, but I might move on to a different pattern. And I'm going to try to do all free patterns, okay? So, anyway, that's where we're at. Bye. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, um, I have finished the second one. It, we finished up at right at... Um, 152. I started at one. So these this second one here took me uh less than two or let's see one to yeah just under two hours. So much better timing the second time around. And for whatever reason, I don't know why these spikes um what I did was I doubled the Bernat um the Bernat blanket, no, the Bernat velvet yarn, I doubled it so that I could have a solid color green or minty green um, spike. But it turned out so much smaller. I don't know if it's my tension uh, because this yarn is definitely thicker. Uh, I think they would both be classified as a number four. But the minty one, if you line them up side by side, it looks thicker. But anyway, for whatever reason... The spikes, there's four spikes on the white. It's still four spikes, but it's just much shorter. So I'm not quite sure why that happened. But anyway, we got two of them done. Now, I think I want to move on because, look, I have so much left. So I'm going to find another free pattern and work on that and see what else I can do with this yarn. I'm really just going to try to use as much of it as I can. Okay, be back soon. Okay, so it is 5.03. I am going to clock out of my uh, cro crochet business owner uh, job for today. And uh, <laughs> this is what I accomplished. I started at 9. I'm ending right now. I did finish the Octo that you saw, but I did start him last night. But here we go. I got two mini chubby dinos. I finished uh, this well. That is from a tutorial on YouTube. Very beginner friendly. I can show you the whale. Alright. And then I am working on another tutorial for an octo. Super easy um, on uh, YouTube. It just kind of... I was watching this tutorial and then this tutorial started playing right after. So I said, let me just go for that. Now look at this. There's still so much yarn left. So I will continue to try and bust through this, but I'm happy that I've used this much of the blanket yarn. I mean, uh, of this velvet yarn and of this holiday, this is Barnett velvet, and this is uh, holiday velvet from Hershner's. And I'm just, again, holding them together. And I do have at least one more skein of this in white, so we'll see what we get into next. I will continue to work on some things through the night. Uh, but for now, uh, the day is over. I'm clocking out and I have to go and make dinner and then go pick up my my boy. Okay, bye. All right, so it is 542. 
dinner is a quick dinner of just spaghetti and then we're gonna stop at the store on the way home and get whatever else we need so that is just about done i have to run out of this house at a, in about three minutes but i did get the octo done so that is all a part of today's work and then i think that i'm gonna take the rest of that yarn and maybe i'm gonna do a snake with it uh, I did a couple of snakes when I did the uh, craft fair, or I did, yeah, I had two snakes, I think, and they both sold, and it's another free pattern on Insta, which I will link, and uh, yeah, I'll get started on the snake when I get back from picking up Jordan and going to the store, but yeah, this is where we stand now, we got really, and since yesterday, last night, we got five things done, and we still have so much of that yarn left. So I'm going to try to make the smaller snake with what's left and see how much of that velvet, that ball of velvet yarn is just lasting forever. Anyway, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I am headed to work, but oh, I did complete all the parts to another mini chubby dino. And so I want to sew that together this morning. I got up early enough to get that done. And so I'm just pulling out my needles, my, my uh, darning needle, my things that I had just sort of thrown in this bag last night as I finished up. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you about the yarns I used and everything later. Uh, but there's my, my uh, mini dino that I finished last night. As you can see, head and body, arms all done, but uh, no parts on. But these are all of the parts, and they are completed. And so now I'm just going to get ready. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to grab my T-pins so I can uh, pin things in place before I sew them. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started with the sewing and then that will be a really productive uh, day or so. Maybe about, I'm going to say, 25 to 26, maybe 27 hours of work. Uh, over the last 27 hours, I should say. Uh, I wasn't working for 27 full hours. But anyway, here I go. Um, getting ready to just uh, get started with the... Um, the pinning of the first leg and then I'm just gonna move forward and get this one done it was really fun yesterday to uh, sort of pretend to be uh, someone who could just crochet full-time and uh, <laughs> I was so excited uh, when I thought of the idea and um, I wish I could do it more but it's you know every once in a while to take a day just to craft is a really fun thing I highly recommend it and uh yeah i uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video and i will speed it up here and you will see the finished product very very soon i <laughs> like the the time lapses but and i've never done one of myself sewing a product together you don't really see my process but i think everybody has to find their own way but as you can see this guy is completely coming together <laughs> i wish it had gone that quickly for real all right uh enjoy 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 this is the last part of it um slowed it down so you could you see me doing my last part. I always tie a knot in my last couple of ends. And then um, I bury it. And that'll be that. Okay, bye. So I got a little yarn. Um, I have not really.
really been buying a lot of yarn, so this is, uh, um, I just saw this, and, uh, I wondered if it's really just cuddled, the Big Twist Cuddle renamed with some additional colors, and I think that's exactly what it is. Uh, so I have two of these, which, uh, let's see, here's all the specs. You guys have seen this because I'm the one who hasn't been purchasing yarn. So I'm behind the times. But look at this. Big Twist is a registered trademark of Joann's or J.S. LLC. Made in Vietnam. Women owned. Manufactured by a woman owned business. And this colorway is Dusty Rose. So I got two of those. Um... I got one of this color, which is sunflower, which is exactly what I bought it for. I want to make that sunflower turtle. I want to make a few of those, so I got that. Not that I didn't have a suitable color already, but I got that. Um, so specs, some more specs. Uh, uh, let's see, number six bulky. 153 yards. There you go. This colorway. Lavendula. I know this brownish one is called cardamom. And I got two of those. I think this is called rainbow or tutti frutti. This is called tutti frutti. This color. White. All right, so I just got eight rolls now. I this is uh, I bought some cotton, mercerized cotton for uh my project. Um, I had gotten three gifted to me, and then I got uh I ordered four more because of what I want to make for the summer yarn YouTube hop project, and then I got uh I wanted to try the baby Himalaya dolphin whatever. So I ordered some of that on Etsy. Uh, I found a dealer on Etsy with, like, it, if you order it directly from that Himalaya baby, whatever, dolphin, dolphin baby, if you order it directly from Turkey, the shipping is crazy, but the price is cheap. So it's like half the price for one skein than it is if you just buy it from an American seller. And I found a seller, which I don't actually know if it's an American seller or not. So the ball was full price, but the shipping was free. So that helped. So I just went ahead and got some of that. That'll be coming in the mail, and I will share that with you. And then I'll go back on my yarn buying hiatus, I think. Anyway, uh, sometimes, you know, what happens is my mojo came back with a vengeance. And so my desire to buy yarn probably got amped up a bit. Anyway, that's it. That's all for this little segment. Talk back soon. Okay, guys, here is how far I've gotten. Uh, the first part up to here is two. It's like double-stranded of this, which is Burnett Baby Velvet. So it is a number four. I think Burnett uh, Velvet might be a thicker, like a number five. But um, this is Burnett Baby Velvet. And then this is more of that Hershner's Holiday Velvet Held Double. And I am making this a free pattern. And I am making the larger snake. Now, I did sort of make a boo-boo on the head, but I fixed it. So, this head is probably just a tad bit different than if you follow the pattern uh, closely. I had made a mistake with my uh, increases. But I already had placed my safety eyes, and I was like, um, well, I'm going to have to try and fix this so I did. So you can see, two, I had a, a ball of this inside that bigger ball um, that I guess I had tried to pull from the center, and then it started getting stuck. So I just wound it up into a ball and stuck it back in the middle. So I eventually just cut that off uh, while I was making all the other things the other day when I was being a full-time crocheter. And I went ahead and uh, held those double for this first part of the snake. So it's one solid color. But then when you get down here, I'm holding it double with the holiday velvet. And I'm 
contemplating possibly holding double um, the white, the holiday velvet for the end of it when we shrink it down to a tail. But I'm still in the process of getting the length I want. I think with this particular snake, uh, I haven't measured it, but if I go by the squares here, it's, it's over 20 inches. And I think I'm going to go to maybe 20, uh, probably 30 inches on this. And then I will start to decrease um, for the um, the tail. So yeah, if I, I, I don't think I'm going to run out of this, honestly, but if I do... Then the tip, the tip of the tail of the snake will be uh, solid white. Anyway, and the instructions say um, that you should um, stuff it, what they call stuff it weekly. So you can see that the way I'm stuffing it, it is, you know, bendable. And it will, you know, that's what it, we want it to be bendable. So I'm trying, it says stuff it weekly, but I'm trying to stuff it lightly is what I'm trying to do. So anyway, I got to go back to work. I had a 30 minute break. So I did a 30 minute crochet session instead of eating. <laughs> so I'm going to go back, clock in and um, keep working. I'm actually working remotely today. I work remotely on Fridays. Lucky me. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Kim the Crafty Nomad, and I, well, y'all know who I am. I'm just wrapping up this vlog. Um, we have a pretty busy weekend. I've already been to the first event of the weekend. I just got back from going to a uh, BTS, y'all know, y'all know, a BTS exhibit, which was very, very nice. And um, so I am just going to sit here and... Uh, recap the week with you guys show you what i was able to accomplish you've seen a lot of it already so i'm gonna try to go really fast so um let's go with this yarn so here is how much of that ball that i still have left okay crazy right and here's how much of the white now this was a different scrap from the one that i was using initially with this so i still have a little scrap of that but I was going through my bags and I found this bit. So, but I got, a, I had at least four of these. So it's still probably one or two full skeins of this uh, available for use. And what I really want to do is make a white octo. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to hold two strands together and make a white octo. But anyway, guys, the, the, the crochet mojo is completely and all the way and totally back. So, I mean... I just want to be crocheting. Uh, but anyway, I got a busy weekend. So I want to just finish this video and then start the next vlog. So let's show you what I got done out of this ball and holding these two together. Let's go. I'll show you the progress on the socks as well. All right. So out of that ball, just to recap. Sorry, I put everything in these plastic bags just to kind of keep them clean and fresh. And uh, so here we go. So the first thing was this Octo with the rainbow eyes. So we got him done. And I had done this one, I think I started it on Sunday night and was just about finished. And then I realized that I had uh, messed up that last, the round before you just close it up. I was supposed to do it in the back loops or the front loops only and leave those back loops free when I did the tentacles, but I had used up both the loops. I had to pull the whole thing out and finish it on Monday morning. So that was the first finish of the week with that yarn. Then the goal was really to bust through that, that yarn because I've had that forever. It's Bernat Blanket. No, Bernat Baby, or I don't know, Bernat Velvet Baby. I think it's called Bleached Aqua is the color. That ball had 452 yards in it or 492. That's why I still have so much. 
I mean, I for sure could get an octo out of this still. So, anyway. So, I got that done. Then I found the pattern by Studio Phoebe 22. The mini chubby dino pattern. So, I made two of those. Right? And with the uh, the safety eyes on these, I think I, these are regular safety eyes, so, but I still think I put glue. I think I glue, I use E6000 on top of using the backing and all of that stuff to just give it extra security. So I got that, these two, so that's three things out of that yarn I showed you. Then, I found this pattern. I'll link the patterns and everything in the in the description box. I forgot the girl's name already, but... Uh, the Mary Makes is what I think. Her name is Mary, and I think it's called The Mary Makes. It's a free... Uh, this is a free uh, whale pattern, which I think she also shows you how to just turn that into a narwhal. Um, so there you go. So, and with this one, I did with the fans and the tail, I did solid. So I held two strands of the bleached aqua together, but the rest of it is the, the white and the aqua. So I got that. So what's that? Item number four. Right after I watched that tutorial, a tutorial <laughs> rolled up from, I think her name is Jenna. I will link her channel. I'll link the tutorial for her no so uh, uh, her no so octo. Really quick and really easy to do. So, went for it. Okay. Actually, the, the other one, the curly cube, the other one is no so as well. So that is all. This is all that I finished on. That was whatever day I was off Wednesday when I was pretending to be a full-time crochet business owner. And I was trying to see how much I could get done in the day. So I got all of these done during the day and then I clocked out for the day. So I had five items completed from that same yarn. And then uh, we had small group at church, which is a Zoom. And I crochet all through that when I have mojo and I have mojo, crojo. So I found the yarn. Remember the yarn that Steve got me from um, Daiso? It's like a blanket style yarn, but it's just like it was too small. Um, I think it's like 90 yards or so in the ball of this blanket style yarn. It's like blanket yarn. It is not as soft um, as the Bernat and the Cuddle from, um, maybe it, 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 I mean, when I first touched it, it didn't feel as soft. So there you go. I had two of those. So I decided to see if I could make another chubby mini chubby dino and he came out great he was easy now i thought that i wasn't gonna have enough so i grabbed some uh cuddle from big twist and put in two rows just to make sure i was gonna have enough but clearly i had enough so i used the cuddle also for his spikes so i did this I did all the pieces on the same day of um, being a crochet business owner full time. And it was pretty, you know, true to form. I actually worked well after I clocked out because that's what business owners do, right? <laughs> and I got all the pieces done and I woke up on Thursday morning and you've seen the time lapse of me assembling this one. So that's that. A lot done this week. Then... I, I really kept talking about I wanted to start the snake, right? I wanted to do the snake. I wanted to do the snake. Uh, but I also still have my elephant to finish, 
but I wanted to do the snake and I wanted to bust through more of that yarn. So if you've been paying attention, you know I made the snake because look at this. I just bear, you know, this is much smaller than was left over after those five items. So hold on, let me get the snake. And I was telling you guys, I was trying to do a, everything was gonna be a free pattern. And this one is free on Instagram. And when you, yeah. And I figured out how to stuff it lightly so that it could be flexible and not stiff. And there you go. So those are the items that I finished. I did do some work on my Summer Yarn YouTube Hop uh, project. So thank goodness. I am going to be focusing on that because that video will be due really soon. Just want to show you some progress on the sock. That's where I stand. This is where the afterthought heel is going in. I've been working on that daily, one or two rows. Um, we'll see if I get anything done. I've decided I'm not going to pressure myself. It's going. It'd be nice for them to be done by June 1st, but if they're not, it's okay. All right, so I think that's going to wrap this up. The video is quite long, so I'm going to end it right there. I think there was nothing else that I wanted to talk about because I've been talking to you all week. All right, that's it. That's all. Thank you for joining me, and I will try to link everything down below, all the tutorials, all the patterns, all the patterns I used for... Um, this week were all free patterns or tutorials. So uh, anybody could do it. I gave you some timing. You could get, I, I'm slow. If you're fast, I mean, for me, I can now do this in under two hours. Um, if you're fast, you will do it even quicker. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful free pattern. But again, there is a error on it. So, um, it is the way she writes this part she neglects to tell you how to do this bobble correctly the the instructions just say make five single crochet in one stitch but you know how you're supposed to do that you like make a double crochet pull to th pull to pull through two go back under pull up a loop, pull through two, and you do that five times, and then you close it off. But she doesn't say that. Anyway, somebody corrected it in the um, in the comments on the link of the free pattern on Instagram, and I will show you that. Um, so the first one of these that I did took me almost three hours because I didn't realize the mistake until I had done two rows, I think, or after the bobble stitch row and then i was like what's the problem so i had to re I had to pull it out and start over so i it took me a long time but now this takes me less than two hours i think it's such a great use of this blanket yarn too it's a nice substantial thing and again i did say that you have you got to get at least 20 dollars for these but you probably need to get 25 I mean, it's a lot of work. I see people selling this stuff for ten dollars, and I'm like, you know, that it took you at least an hour to do that octo. Ten dollars, but I mean, you got to do what the market will bear where you are. So anyway, there you go. There you go. That's it. Okay, for real. I'm leaving. I will talk back soon. See you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching me. If you if you found something that you like, please like, subscribe. Uh, uh, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Until we meet again, keep it crafty, guys. Bye!